So what is a Shopify lookbook? All right, so a Shopify lookbook is very similar to an, a gallery on Shopify. The only difference is that it has clickable features. And in fact, I'm actually gonna show you this on my webpage live here, so I can show you what this is like. So I'm just gonna go ahead and refresh the page here, and I'm going to scroll down to the lookbook. And a lookbook, like I said, is just a gallery that has clickable features that allow cu customers to click on images, interact with images, and access different products. So here, for example, you see this is the third picture or the third photograph in the lookbook. And it has this little button that's kind of animated, right? It's almost like this bouncing feature. And so I can click on it and it will show the product. When I take my mouse and hover over, it shows the secondary image of the product. And then it shows the name of the product. And so I can go ahead and click on it like a normal customer would. And it takes me to a product page. Very awesome, very interesting, and very useful, right? Uh, maybe not for my personal brand, so this brand is all about posters. But if you're selling something like clothing, for example, it'd be very, very useful, right? Um, that's a perfect example. So people can look at be like, oh, what's that shirt? Or what's that pair of pants? Or what's that pair of sneakers? Whatever. They can click on this little button, and it will show them the product. Lookbooks are built differently depending on what Shopify theme you have, okay? So this Shopify theme allows you to add multiple products in a single image. So for example, this image here has two products. And so notice it has this button and it has this button. Now you can see they're a little mixed up on how they were uh, uh, tagged, but uh, nonetheless, they're both tagged. So I'm gonna take this opportunity to show you how to actually get that done here using the Nismo theme. So the theme that you're watching me use right now is called the Nismo theme. In fact, if you have the Nismo theme, you probably already know this, but it comes with a second theme called the clean theme. They both have different features and different you know, things. So if you're interested in that, watch some of my other videos. But without further ado, let's get into the lookbook. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into this add section button. You're going to look for lookbook, just search the word look and you're gonna find it. You just click on it and it will show up something like this. Now I personally already have it and you can see it's actually right here and I have three images added. If I ever need to add an image, I just click add lookbook item, very simple, okay? Once you have your lookbook item, it's time to actually add the images and the details. So for example, you're gonna go over here, add your actual image and now it's time to select where the counter or the pointer is going to be. So you go to product one, and that means it's the first product you're going to select within the lookbook. And you're gonna select the offset left and right, also top and bottom. So this is the offset top of 56%. So I move this to the left hand side, it becomes smaller and the pointer moves up. Okay, so if I want the pointer to show somewhere right here on the corner or even on you know, actually, yeah, somewhere I level with, I would just move this to the left-hand side a little more, a little more, maybe a little bit more, kind of like that, which is just about perfect to where I want it, right? And then if I wanted the pointer to be halfway into the image, halfway on the white wall here, I would move this to the right, okay, or to the left, depending on how it set this up, to the left here, just a little bit, and there we go, perfect just like that. And also the next thing I would do is I would make sure that it's actually linked to the right product. So I'd go over here to select product, find the product that it is linked to or that I wanna link it to, and then I just hit save. And it's just that simple. So now, instead of my lookbook being like this on this image, let me go ahead and refresh my page, it looks like this. And if I take my mouse hover over, there the product is ready to go, ready for sale, okay? And once again, the benefit of this is that there's many ways to engage with customers and visitors, but one of the best ways is through a lookbook because it's, number one, very engaging. People like to click on things. It catches their attention. The animated features behind it allow you to catch people's attention. Like I said, their attention spans are very, very quick, especially when it comes to e-commerce. Oddly enough, a customer knows within 10 seconds if they're gonna end up purchasing something on your site very, very quickly. And you might see if you're tracking customers' users' behavior, they might be on your page for four or five seconds and then just leave. And you might be 
perplexed as to why, it's because nothing caught their attention. And we live now in an attention economy. Everything matters when it comes to attention. And things are done very, very quickly. So it's very important to kind of use different features that grab people's attention. Lookbooks are one of those features. Okay? So that's essentially how you do it. If you want to add more than one uh, product in a single image, like a single more than one pointer, you just scroll down, product number two, you select the product, and so on. It will add another one just like how I did here. So that's it, guys. Very, very simple. This is how to add a lookbook. If you want to go ahead and use the Nismo Shopify theme, I'll leave a link in the description along with my discount code that will give you $100 off to the Nismo theme. And yes, it does come with another theme called the clean theme. So you're really buying two themes within one. Once again, you get $100 off with my discount code. I'll leave it in the link in the description and I'll talk to you guys soon. All right. Peace out. Bye.